Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. This time I'm going to uh, show you how to do auto routing using KiCad. Okay, for this I have prepared this um, example here. It's an amplifier. As we can see here, is um, an amplifier that it is made using um, operational amplifier, the LM358. Okay, so this is a, a very simple circuit to uh, get an output with a gain from the uh, input voltage. Okay, so as we have seen in previous uh, presentations, from this we can get our PCB board, and I have prepared also here, I have it ready the board by clicking here. We can see our board with the two connectors for the power supply, for the input, the output voltage, our operational amplifier, and the different uh, resistances and capacitances. We have the lines here showing the connections that we have to do. Okay. So now we can do this in uh, two uh, ways. We can do it manually, so we can do the routing by ourselves. I usually prefer to do it this way, especially for uh, very simple, for simple PCBs. But uh, in some cases in which we have uh, very complicated um, PCBs and uh, electrical circuits, for example, in the case of very complex uh, digital systems, then it is also of interest to use the auto routing possibility. Okay. In previous versions of KiCad, they had available here a button for auto routing and they had an auto routing included in the program. In this last version, we don't have this possibility. It is expected that in the future we are going to have this um, possibility in future versions with auto routing already included in the program, but right now we don't have it. So we can use um, external auto routing. Okay, for this, I recommend this one, free routing. You have the information of this uh, free program in this um, web page, freerouting.org. And then you have here all the information, the reference manual, how to use it, uh, using it with KiCad and everything. Okay. In order to get this program, it's not easy to get this program directly. You have to to go and install or at least download this uh, program layout editor. If you click here, then you can download this program and install it. Okay, this is for other applications of uh, design of chips and um, other type of circuits. If you don't want to install this program, you can just download the program, use um, compressing a program like um, a 7 zip uh, I have used 7 zip to decompress the installation program and then inside this installation you can find the uh, the program okay the uh, the free routing program okay otherwise you can go to my web page and in my web page, in the uh, section corresponding to resources, you will have a link to download the program directly. Okay, so once you have your program, you will have something like this, freerouting.jar. Okay, this is a um, program in Java. Okay, so you need to install Java to, to run this program. Okay, so this is the first thing you have to do if you want to use uh, this. Okay, we are going to see now how to use this program to do the auto routing. For this, we go back to our PCB. Okay, here is our PCB. And then we just do like this file and export our PCB in this format, Spectra DSN. Okay, 
So we are going to save it here in uh, downloads. OK, this is the name amplifier dot DSN. So we saved and with this we are saving all the information related to our PCB. Now we can go and open free routing jar. OK. And then here we select the program, the, the, the file, sorry, in which we have uh, the definition, okay? It will be this file, amplifier.dsa, okay? So we uh, look for it here, this in downloads, okay? Amplifier.dsa, select this file and open it, okay? So we enter here in our uh, program. Okay, so we can see here both connectors, the different components, the integrated circuits, and so on. Okay, so here we can do immediately if we like, in order to see all the process very quickly, we can do just a routing here, and then we can see how the program is operating, and then we see uh, here all the um, connections okay in red the tracks corresponding to the top layer and in blue the tracks corresponding to the uh, bottom layer if we are happy with this uh, solution then we just go to file export again export spectra session file and then it is asking if we want to save also the rules we can say yes here and then we will have here our design amplifier dot ses okay with all the routing so we can go back to our pcb in kicad and then do like this file import spectra session okay and select amplifier dot sorry it will be here amplifier dot SES, okay, in the, the file that we have just generated, open it, sorry, open it, and we can see here all the connections in red, the connection on the tracks on the top, and in green, the tracks on the bottom, okay. But we can see that this is a very simple PCB, so we can do it better. Maybe we can use only one layer, the bottom layer, to do all the connections in it. And also we can see here that and there is not much distance between some paths and the tracks and so on. We, so we can do um, this better. Okay. We can do it here if we want. We can uh, redraw and do modifications and improve the PCB, but we can uh, try to do it better directly during the auto routing. Okay. So for this, what we are going to do is to unroute all this. Okay. And with this, we are going uh, to to uh, to show also how to do this here. We can go here, edit and then do a global deletions, uh, okay? Deletions here, okay? And uh, select how to, uh, what to delete, okay? And select, for example, tracks in this case, okay? So we are going to select and uh, delete all the tracks in all the layers, okay? So we just say here, okay? Are you sure to do this? Okay, we want to do it. So we have unrooted all our uh, PCB board. Okay, so with this we can do it again. File, export, spectra, DSN, in downloads, amplifier DSN again. Okay, and yes, overwrite the file. And then go again to our program. Uh, say file and we need to I think we need to quit here and start the program again to uh, load the documents again so we select downloads amplifier DSN and open so we have again our circuit here, our PCB. 
So now we have to try to do and the PCB only in one layer, in the bottom layer. So for this, we go here uh, to utilities, utilities here and rules, okay? And then net classes. So we here our classes for the different nets. We can down, we can delete this one, the default one, okay, remove, and just keep this one, key card uh, default, okay, and use this um, information here, these inputs in order to select what we want to do, okay. So we have the BR rule, we can leave this by default right now. The clearance class, which is kick out default, okay, we can keep this. And what we are interested now is in the trace width and the layers for the different uh, traces and the width uh, of the different traces. So we can create here our new, new uh, rules, okay, for example, in the front layer, copper layer, we are going to select a trace width of zero, okay? So in this way, we are not going to, we are not going, sorry, we are not going to um, use uh, tracks on this layer, okay? And for the bottom layer, we are going to select um, a width um, wider than this. Here the units are microns, okay, so this will be uh, 250 microns, so it's 0.25 millimeters, so we are going to try 500 millimeter, uh, sorry, 500 microns, so it's um, 0.5 millimeters for the different tracks, okay, in the bottom. So we can, you can see here that we have selected zero for the front and 500 for the bottom. If we select all here, then the program writes minus one, which means that there, there are different values for the front, front and from the bottom. And the other thing that we want to select is to uh, change the minimum distance between the uh, layers and the different electrical components, okay? And for this, we can go here to utilities again, and then rules, and then go to the clearance matrix. Okay, select this one. And here we have the clearance matrix in which we can select the uh, distances, the minimum distances between the different um, classes and the different elements that we have. In this case, we are using KiCad default, okay? So here it is selected that between KiCad default and KiCad default, we have between elements in these two um, classes, we have 200 uh, microns of distance, okay? So we are going to select a little bit higher, for example, 300 of distance, okay? and see uh, what happens. Okay, I think it's now selected. And we can say here, uh, yes to this uh, clearance, uh, change clearance anyway. So we have now 300 uh, microns between these uh, elements in key called default, okay? And in all layers. So now we can try, <coughs> sorry, we can try this by selecting here, routing, and see what happens. So the program is working. Now it requires a little bit uh, more time to do it. But at the end, the program succeeds in doing all the layers with these requirements. Okay, or all the tracks, I mean. So we can do the same, file, export, export, spectra, session file. Okay, save also the rules. So now we have here in downloads our a new um, file, okay, with all the routing. So we can go again to KiCad, go to the PCB, save file, import, Spectra session, okay, 
and select our um, file here amplifier dot is es okay and then as you can see we have now all the tracks rooted with these new uh, dimensions within this new width for um, the the uh, different tracks okay and with the distances okay. so here we can do some modification is we if we like we can go to our um, bottom layer and select um new uh, value for example for the track 40 mils okay here and then we can uh, do uh, changes if we like like routing new tracks in using uh, a thicker um, uh, track okay for uh, trying to do some improvement if we like okay we can also include a um, fill zone if we like so we can as we know include this fill zone for example connected to the ground okay say okay here and draw our fill zone as we have seen in previous videos okay and then we have here our complete board to see better the different components we can select the uh, front silk screen okay and then we can see here our board which is ready now for manufacturing okay this is all now for this video thank you very much for watching it and see you in our next video goodbye now